I'm going to discuss virtual components, how to create a new virtual component, how to take something that is not a virtual component, convert it to one, how to take something that is a virtual component and, comp and uh, save it out as an external file. So as you can see, I've started off with this assembly, and I'd actually like to have a virtual subassembly. So I'm going to say new subassembly. You'll note right off the bat, the virtual subassemblies have the brackets around the name, and I can drag and drop different components into that subassembly. I'm going to take them, drop them in there. Let's quickly rename this file because I want to have all the worm gear components set aside. All right. Once that's done, now I have my uh, subassembly. If I click save, it pops up. Say save all. I'm going to leave them internal. All right. Now, when I, what does that mean? When I have a virtual component and I look where the file is saved, you'll notice there is no subassembly that says worm gear assembly. Another way to note it is if I come up here and say File, Find References, Saved Internal. So when something is virtual, you can't use Windows Explorer to find it. The only way place it resides is inside of the assembly. If I want, I can then choose to right mouse click on this and say Save Assembly External to File. If, if my components were also virtual, I could do them all at once, but I only have the subassembly. I'm going to leave it with everything else. I'll say OK. The brackets go away. And if we look in Windows Explorer, you now see I have a worm gear assembly. Save the changes, and I'm happy. So that's one aspect. So let's look at it from another way. I'm going to open a separate assembly for this particular operation. Let's open this one here. This one already has a separate assembly as defined in it. What I would like to do, though, is make this virtual. So I'm going to right mouse click and say make virtual. New in 2016, I'm asked, do I want to do just a subassembly or all the components? I'm going to do the subassembly and child components. When I look at the references, you'll notice all of these are saved inside. All right, now if I click Save, leave them internal, and I'm going to close it. When I open the location where those files are, you'll notice that the subassembly still exists here. But what happens if maybe I delete out a knob? So let's delete that. We'll reopen my assembly that I had. In fact, let's open the crank assembly. Where'd it go? But if I open my assembly that we were using, it's still there. So once I move something internal to the uh, a virtual component, even if the original file gets deleted, the components still reside inside of the file and I don't lose them. Thank you.